morning. My name is Anita Shoebrink DeLarge, and this morning we had the pleasure of going to McGregor's Produce. And as a Women's Institute member here in White Lake, we love to teach and um, share our knowledge of what we have learned uh, through the Department of Agricultural, through each other, and through different things in the area. So today we went over to McGregor's Produce. We got fresh raspberries. The difference of making something with something local is you know where when you got it, it was when it was picked, and they don't use pesticides on any of their fruits, so that's um, one of the benefits of the fresh raspberries. Growing up, my father always told me, you eat in season, so when it's rhubarb time, it's rhubarb time, and when it's strawberry time, it's strawberry time, and today it's raspberry time. So today we got our raspberries. My grandson Malcolm and my granddaughter here, Rowan Good, came with us and we went over to the McGregor's, got the raspberries, and today we're going to be making a fresh raspberry pie. Different from the baked kind. So you don't need a whole lot. You can prepare it a few days ahead. You can make yourself some homemade crusts and bake them. They keep for a few days so you have them all ready. Or you can go into the grocery store and to the freezer section, get some pie crust, bake them and have them all ready. So all I need to do is get my raspberries and I need four cups. So these little half uh, or pints that they sell here hold approximately three cups. Just to show you how easy this is, my granddaughter is going to shadow me and make her raspberry pie and hopefully you will make yours. As this is coming near the end of July when we hold the Herb Fest here in White Lake. So right now I'm in the White Lake Women's Institute Hall here at 7 John Box Street in White Lake. The uh, Herb Fest is held just down the road at the Waba Cottage Museum on the Burnstown Road and it's just a, it's a wonderful day where people bring all their cottage industries, um, different things that they've been making and every year we specialize in uh, a different theme. So it could be a different spice, it could be a different vegetable, fruit, and this year we have raspberries and we're going to teach you how to make this. So as we take our fresh raspberries, um, we have a pint here and we need the four cups. So what we need to do is take one cup out of it um, to measure one cup of mashed. So as you take your raspberries, you very gently just sort of take them, look at them, make sure there's no leaves, any little things that maybe got in there that shouldn't have, and you're going to put them into a container and then we'll, we'll do a little bit at a time to mash until we get um, enough for one cup. So as we sort through these, they're all good. We put them into our container and we're going to mash a little bit at a time. Okay, so just take a potato masher. Uh, you can take the bottom of a, a bottle if you don't have one or a bottom of a glass that's flat and you're going to mash the raspberries. What's nice about getting your berries local is that, um, excuse me, a spatula here. You, they're, they're, because raspberries are so delicate, uh, you want them to be in your pie nicely and you want them to um, stand up and they're, they're not all mush and that when you're making your pie. If it's a baked pie, it's a little different. Okay, so Rowan's just finishing off mashing her berries there and then I can have the potato masher back so I'm just getting a few more raspberries here to sort through. Nice clean berries that were picked and nice and fresh. So, okay, I need the potato masher. Just scrape them off a little bit so that you have all the berries mashed. And you want to do it gradually so because you, you don't want to mash a cup and a half you only need a cup of mashed so I will add this to our other mashed raspberries if you were making a two crust pie you would use a lot more sugar well, let me see what I have I have three quarters of a cup so I just need a little bit more if you were doing a baked pie you would need more sugar where with the fresh one 
you're getting less sugar and it's healthier for you. You're only having one pie crust instead of two. But there's nothing nicer than having a fresh raspberry pie baked in the oven, especially with a little bit of ice cream or Cool Whip or something. And you can pick your raspberries. You can put them away in the freezer in Ziploc bags. You can put four cups away at a time. You can make a fresh raspberry pie. Nothing like it. It's nothing like the canned um, raspberry fill. It's just, it's just so fresh. Okay, so I have a cup of um, mashed raspberries there. Okay, so we have our one cup of mashed raspberries and we needed in total four cups of raspberries. So we have those there. In here was three cups. So I will need to measure one more cup out of the other pint. So first of all, I'm gonna tell you this raspberry pie, you don't need a lot of ingredients. I'm gonna tell you the ingredients. We have one baked pie shell. We have four cups, or if you had to buy them, two pints of raspberries, but you only need the four cups all together. You need one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. You need a half a cup of sugar and a half a cup of water. And that's all you need. Okay, so in the saucepan, you're going to put in your half a cup of sugar. You're gonna put in a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch. If you buy your cornstarch, you'll always notice it come, comes with a sealed lid. Don't tear the whole lid off. Keep half of it because when you wanna measure something out, all you have to do is bring it up and bring it off like this. So this is a half tablespoon. So we're gonna use two of those to make the one and one more to make the tablespoon and a half. You wanna mix your cornstarch and your sugar well so that when you put your water in, you're not getting the water just on the cornstarch and making hard white lumps. So when you've got that mixed well, you're going to add your half a cup of water all off the sides. The cornstarch dissolves into this. And from there, we're gonna take it to the stove. All right, so just before we go to the stove, you need to add your mashed raspberries in with your sugar, your water, and your cornstarch. Mix that all up. And you're gonna end up with a, a real milky looking raspberry Compact, compact, yeah. brew here. Concoction. Concoction. And we're going to take this over to the stove. And Rowan will be following me along with hers. Put your raspberries in, Rowan. And then we're going to take this over to the stove. And then we'll come back and make our pie. So follow me to the kitchen. Okay, we've got our pots on the stove here. You want to put it on a medium to medium, just a little bit of medium high. You want to take a spatula and you're just going to be stirring it. Uh, figure eight is a good way. You f do the figure eight, you're covering the whole bottom of your pot. And once the cornstarch starts to thicken up your mixture, it will turn a nice bright red color so it won't be looking so milky. While we do this, I'll just tell you a little bit more. You're going to take that other cup of uh, raspberries out of your other pint, and you're going to put that which is left with the other from this one here. So we started out with four cups. We took one cup out. Well, we took more than a cup out. We took enough out to mash one cup. The rest we're going to pour into our pie plate, and then we're going to put this nice glaze over top of it. So this takes, this could take, five, six minutes. And as you find that it's thickening, you will find that when it turns a little bit redder, it'll start to do a little um, boil in the sense that it just bubbles. And when you see those little bubbles, you know that it's almost done. So you keep stirring because you don't want to scorch it on the bottom. It doesn't take too long. This is probably the longest. No, picking the raspberries was the longest. Making the pie doesn't take too long. And then just waiting for it to cool down. 
Eh, it's probably the longest you have to wait and then eating it doesn't take very long at all. Okay, so I can feel mine starting to get a little bit thicker. Maybe I wanted to turn it down. I just turned it down one little bit. It's starting to, you almost feel like it's starting to stick. And if you can see the bubbles in here, it's starting to bubble mine is. You don't want it to um, uh, boil. You just want those bubbles there because that starts to thick, thicken. And you'll see that this has gotten redder and thicker. So I'll just give it a little bit more here. Just stirring it all around. Make sure everything's, this is going to be your glaze. So I take my spoon out and it, I can see it bubbling. And then I will take this off. Okay, so now that we have our raspberries all cooked here, they're in a nice glaze, and we're going to pour that over our pies. It's a nice runny thickness. It's not um, like it's not going to be a solid because we want to pour it over our raspberries. So into this pint that we had left, we had some raspberries, but we needed four cups, and there was three in there. Now we need to take out one more cup. Okay, so we're just sorting through our berries here to, we want to make one more cup. Look through them, no leaves. No little bits of um, twigs. Now you're going to have berries left over, but you needed to, buy, to have the two uh, pints to make your four cups. So if you were uh, able to make a pie and a half, that's fine. Or you wanted to make a, a bigger pie, you could one and, a, one and a half times this recipe. So when you've brought this glaze back in here, like I had, um, then you put the half a teaspoon of butter in it and that just makes it glaze. So you, you take your pie shell that's already been baked, it's cooled, you take that, you're going to take the rest of your berries that you had in your little basket here, just check them over as you take them out, that you didn't happen to pick one that was maybe uh, got a little mold on it from extra moisture or whatever, and no leaves, no little twigs. Okay, so that's from that one. Then we measured another cup. So I've already cleaned those. We're gonna put those in there. Take your pie shell and just, you're gonna just shake it. It's easier than trying to um, put them over or you don't wanna press on them too much. So we've got this pie shell that's all filled with our berries. Okay, so you give your glaze just a little stir and then I'm just gonna very slowly start pouring it over my raspberries, not all of it, just back and forth. And then I'm going to scrape down the pot. I still have quite a bit left. I wanna get right out to the edges. So as we're pouring it over here slowly, you wanna come out to the edges. Scraping out the pot, you don't wanna leave any in there. So as we have that all done, we can take the back of our spatula and just, as you turn your pie plate, bring it out to the edges. You don't wanna to wait too long so it sinks all into the middle, but you wanna bring some of this glaze out to the edges. Now this is a, uh, not a 10 inch pie plate you could use a little bit smaller but when you bake a shell the shell always goes a little bit smaller so as you've got this here you've brought all your glaze around that's your raspberry pie okay so as Rowan is finishing up her pie this is the finished pie here that's all there is to it now you take this and you put it in the fridge and it doesn't take very long to cool off because your berries underneath the glaze aren't hot. 
and your pie shell isn't hot, so it just takes the glaze. So, say so you put it in the uh, in the fridge for half an hour or a little more, then you cut that a piece of that with a little spray cream or real whipped cream is delightful. There's nothing nicer than a fresh raspberry pie. And there's nothing nicer than if you make a pie, you could have doubled the recipe in the one pot, you can make two pies. You have one for yourself and your family, and you bless someone else with a pie because you never want to waste your time just for yourself. You want to always have another one, whether there's two pies in the oven or whether there's two pies here. Hold your pie up, Rowan. Now, if Rowan can make a pie like this, you can make a pie like this. Um, it would be nice to hear that you all have made a raspberry pie and enjoy it. And thank you very much for being with us today.